continuing the series let's shoot for the second question of the contest minimum numbers of steps to make two strings anagram part 2 here in this question we are given two strings s and t what we need to do we need to identify the minimum number of steps needed to make s and t anagrams of each other and in each step you can append any character to s or t we already know what is an anagram an anagram is a string that contains the same set of characters with different ordering here in this example they have provided us with lead code as string s and string t happens to be quotes the output for this app comes out to be 7 i'll be walking through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it while the presentation so let's quickly hop on to it minimum number of steps to make two strings anagram of each other lead code 2186 So let's take the same example that was specified in the question. We have the string s as lead code, t as quotes. So if you think carefully, can you look out for your target string with which will contain all the characters of s and t? If you are able to identify that target string characters, then your work is done. And what would that target string be in this case? It should definitely have one l. It should have three e's. so it would have should have one l three e's and it should have one t so it one t and it should have c one c because c is common to both it should have o o is also common to both one o it should have d again one time and also there are more characters that should be part of that final string coming from t so we have covered c one here we have covered o one here we have covered we haven't covered a so a again should be part of a final string and its frequency should be one what do we have next we have t so t again happens to be of one frequency it's the same and the final one is s s should also be present in that string and it should its frequency should be one so the final amalgamation or the target string that you are looking for should have one l time e three times t one time c one time o one time d one time s one time and a one time and we have successfully identified that final string what do we need to do we need to iterate over the elements of s and we need to simply create the target count variable we will subtract what all elements are missing from this particular string that are present here and we will simply add those elements to the string s similarly we'll do it for the t string as well so let's look out what all elements are missing from lead code string that are present over here so we have l one time so uh, it's good e again is three times it's good t again is one time c is again is one time o is one time d is one time s and a are missing so we'll add s and a to uh, to the string s and the count will become 2 let's walk through the string t the first character that we see here happens to be l that means l should be added to the string t so let's add l and let's increment the count by 1 let's proceed ahead next we see is e so e is not part of this t string as a result of which e should be added so we should have three e's again here and since we are adding three e's we will increment the count to 6 let's proceed ahead next we see is t t is already part of the string so it should not be added next we see is c c is already part of the string it should not be added o o is already part of the string it should not be added next we see is d d should be added so let's go and add d the count becomes 7 s and a are already part of this string so uh, we should not add it again so one anagram that we generated it happens to be this quotes l triple e d and the other anagram that we generated was lead code followed by a n s whatever you are seeing in green happens to be new additions that we have made it to the string s and t in order to make them anagrams of each other to conclude it further let's quickly walk through the coding section and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i have talked here here i have created a helper method which actually calculates 
the frequency map corresponding to string s and again i pass in to create the frequency map corresponding to string t this you are already aware of we have solved it plenty of times in the past i have created the answer variable initialized it to zero i calculate the maximum character count corresponding to each english character starting from the 0th one to the 26th character which is z i find out the maximum character count that a uh, frequency count that is present among s and t and once i have that i subtract it from uh, the frequency s of y so this will contribute to one possibility of answer and this will contribute to the other possibility of answer maximum car minus frequency of t at the ith index and i simply add it to my final answer variable uh, once i'm done with this i simply return it back so let's try this up the time complexity of this approach is order of length of string s comma t and the space complexity of this approach is constant space we are not using anything extra apart from these uh, frequency maps which is a gain of size 26 this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned i'm solving more questions